Well, yeah, me again. Just a short review on a real decent bike stand at not a lot of cost. Now, I put bike stands on all my bikes, and I've had quite a few different ones in the past. But uh, I needed one that was stronger than the real cheap ones on eBay. And I came across this one. And as you can see, it's really strong. But the best bit about it is it extends to a really good length. But yeah, really good piece of kit. I've got it on all my fat bikes at the minute. So it's going to go on the next one I do. I'll show you how to fit it in a sec. But yeah, even comes with the tool to fit it, which is just an Allen key really. And a bit of a, I don't think that's a user guide, it? that's just a friendly guide if you're not on me. But yeah, got it on Amazon, $14.99. Some of the other sellers on there are selling them for 30 odd quid. But I've already bought two and put them on my bikes and they are brilliant. Because basically, like the cheap ones are good, but they don't last very long because of the weight of the motor and everything and the battery in the frame whereas this one is just much more solider you know a much better better made you know it's really nice there's no jagged edges or nothing like you know and it's not like dirt cheaply made you know it's got a got a bit of quality about it but yeah anyway let's get on and put it on easy do so all you need to do is get yourself a nice position to put it on i'll put it on about here and when as i'm like working on the bike i might want to change it around a little bit but it's straightforward enough for anybody who don't know obviously i'm going to use my power tool because it's a lot quicker i'm doing it by hand so it's just a matter of remove remove the allen keys <clears throat> Alan Bolt, sorry. Not keys, what am I on? Position her up. I'll fire one in, which would just hold it steady for me. So there you go. So then, you've got to remember your pedal's going to come back here. So this might actually hit your leg when you're pedaling. So, you know, that's what you've got to adjust as you go. And do that and you'll be fine. And trust me, these are the best ones I've ever used. And I've had a few different stands in my time. <coughs> For some reason, that Allen key's a bit sticky, so... Lucky I've got my torque sensor set so it doesn't run up, run anything too far down. So there you go. Now he's in position. It always pays to get all the bolts in a little bit loose first. And then nip them up when you're really happy. So you don't sh shred, no, uh, like, you know, do the threads in. So there you go, I think he's about good there. I'm trying to keep him down like down that way. So he'll be out of the way of the pedals. I mean it don't matter here because the stand should be up like that. So it'll be up out of the way, make sure it's not touching your disc, or as some people call it, the rotor. And then you just nip him up. So I'll put him up on the 14 now. There you go, he's hit the hit the torque now. And that's it. Absolutely solid. I used them on my other bikes and I just thought what a brilliant thing. So yeah. So well happy with it. See if the bike stands. Oh, I'm a bit caught up. 
And there you go. As you can see, I've got it right down so it won't stay. So if I drop the thing down a little bit. And there you have it. Nifty piece of kit. Very happy with that. And as you can see, it's not in a bad place. And if I do that, turn the pedals, as you can see, your feet are right out of the way of it. So if I've got it positioned right on the first go, that will never get moved. So I'll be dead happy with that. But yeah, so there you go, and it's not fully extended on this bike. So I'm really happy with that. Anyway, if you like what you see, click like, obviously. Make sure you subscribe, tell all your friends. Anyway, stay safe out there and get out and ride.